Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. On this episode, I'm going to be reviewing Inca Cola. And this soda was sent to me by my friends Jonathan Bailey and Crystal Ramey. Jonathan Bailey is a plagiarism and copyright consultant at plagiarismtoday.com and Crystal is an artist at cdrart.com. Thank you so much for sending me this soda. Inca Cola is produced by the Coca-Cola Company worldwide, except in Peru. In Peru, it's produced by Corporación Inca Cola Peru, which is a joint venture between Coca-Cola and the Lindley family who created Inca Cola. Now, this was introduced in 1935. In addition to thanking both Jonathan and Crystal for sending me the soda, I also have to thank Lucid45, L-U-C-D 45, for requesting that I review it. Thanks so much for watching the show, L-U-C-D 45. Inca Cola, the Golden Cola, as the can says, is a source of national pride for Peruvians and is very popular within the country. In 1999, Coca Cola purchased the brand. In 12 ounces, which is what this can is, you'll have 140 calories, 45 milligrams of sodium, and 39 grams of total carbohydrates, 39 of which are sugar. Ingredients are carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzoate to protect taste, caffeine, artificial and natural flavors and yellow five. Inca Cola, the golden cola, the golden carbonated beverage. As you notice, it, they, it does say caffeine and they do disclose the caffeine content on the can, which I always like to see. 37 milligrams of caffeine. So 140 calories, 37 milligrams of caffeine and sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. I've had Inca Cola before at uh, the World of Coca-Cola. It's been a while, at least a year if not more, since I've had it though. You know, Inca Cola gives me like a bubblegum smell. That's what I get from it. Kind of smells like the pink, generic, original bubblegum flavor. What I get from Inca Cola is I do get some of that bubblegum flavor and I get citrus. I get citrus notes, that kind of citrus tartness. So a little bit of that bubblegum stuff, a lot of citrus flavors. It's a pretty good soda. I think it's, um, you know, when you say bubblegum, I think there's the potential there to, to, for people to think that's so sugary, sweet, overpowering, sometimes like cream sodas are. But really, um, it's, it's, it's a nice kind of muted sweetness. And the citrus, as you drink it, as you taste it more, kind of stands out more and more. So... I would say it's a pleasant flavor. For my taste, I want to put it at 3 out of 5. Are you a fan of Inca Cola? Let me know in the comments on YouTube or on SodaTasting.com. If you'd like to receive email notifications when a new episode is released, please visit SodaTasting.com to subscribe via email. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.